Good morning, folks. This is a week old article, but back checking and proper diligence take time. The newest version of Earth's deadliest quake zone has appeared and is growing near the coast of Spain. Folks, this is part of the global destabilization I've been mentioning for 14 months. When two eight pointers rocked Sumatra on April 11, 2012, a Romanian geologist claimed the faults had ripped, region was unstable, and that it would spread. He spent months being called a crazy man until the university professors verified everything he said. Faults ripping region cascading, and I strain to think how this would not be related. May Global State of the Climate Report is out. It was a warm May, but all extremes are indeed present as expected. This level of pollutants dwarfs anything in the USA. 25% above their safe limit for fine particles. It's largely fire-driven. After discussing that low over New Zealand for days, I'm realizing I didn't have any idea what you guys were in for. Flooding, tornadoes, and 200 km per hour wind gusts. Wow. Yesterday we showed the footage of Indian flooding, many dead and many more stranded, but well north of that it got worse as 62,000 head of cattle drowned and over a thousand homes were destroyed in China. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center claims a tropical storm is about to hit Japan, but honestly I think this thing sheared apart last night. Can't find it. Southwest of that looks diabolical, however, set to make landfall this weekend near northern Vietnam. Folks, 100,000 people in Calgary are affected by flooding today. You should see air rushing up the breadbasket and slamming into a wall of high pressure, exploding as precipitation. Strong lows in the north central states are putting the drive on that wind. Severe storms coming where warm and wet equalizes with cool and dry. Earth's primary magnetic connection to the sun is right in the middle of the active regions, which are not flaring whatsoever. I'm going to go through these areas of development, marking the magnetic mixing as I go. Spreading nicely here, 1775 and major decay, the delta might be gone tonight. 1776, bigger, spreading, but not yet mixing as much as is needed for flares. And while I say that, this non-complex new sunspot has managed to fire a solid solar flare this morning. An M2 flare and resulting CME were produced. The ejecta is expected to completely miss our planet. I love when the solar wind is predictable. You can see that density spike I called out yesterday on its way down, and remember we expected the faster particles to come afterwards, and that's a big 10-4. Magnetometer showing the mid-level disturbance with another cut at the electron flux. So far the KP index is holding below storm level. Remember sky watchers, Venus and Mercury conjoining at sunset today. Visibility will not be easy. You know the full moon occurs at 11.34 UTC on June 23rd, but just 23 minutes before that, at exactly 11.11, the moon will be at annual perigee, closest it comes to Earth all year. Coronal hole up top is big and screaming for attention. I'll also point out the southern aspect of the coronal hole peak facing us tomorrow and a new one cresting in now. FYI, suspiciousobservers.org. Forum section has moderator ability for group creators so you can completely control your group and discussion. Apart from the heart meters not updating, the basic space weather page is functional and geared for beginners, just the primary stuff. Folks, in my best judgment, this one day event people are fearing will be drawn out and take many years. I realize you're going to deserve more from me in terms of time and interaction. Now I just gotta make it, and I will. Shots of our star to close. Quake Watch LOL should be ending soon. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.